high above Hong Kong on a knife's edge. It's The Rock in his most precarious, vertigo-inducing, soul-rocking predicament yet. Dwayne Johnson defies gravity in one of this summer's biggest blockbusters, Skyscraper. Give me one word to describe Skyscraper. Go. Scary. Thriller. Heavenly. Heartfelt. Suspenseful. Powerful woman. <laughs> Two words. <laughs> Skyscraper's imagery is heart-stopping. Johnson not only plays a former FBI agent, but also an amputee whose family becomes trapped between fire and sky inside the world's tallest building, the Pearl. No, 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 no. And he will stop at nothing to save them. You know, our movie is big, it, it's fun, it's summer, uh, but it's also very suspenseful, it's very emotional, and at times very dramatic. <laughs> Johnson has become one of Hollywood's highest paid leading men, specializing in high voltage, high budget movies like The Fast and the Furious, San Andreas, and Jumanji. Where's my hair? His latest movie hits theaters this Friday, 30 years after Die Hard premiered, where Bruce Willis famously rescues his wife from similarly nail biting circumstances. For writer-director Rossin Thurber, there was no better woman to play Johnson's on-screen wife than Nev Campbell. If you're going to put one name on a vision board, it should be Nev Campbell. She embraced the real-life toughness of their characters. You did some pretty intense scenes. I mean, not I only carrying one of your children o yes. over this fiery pit on your back. Yes. Uh, He's heavy. He looks little, but he is heavy. <laughs> he is heavy. We shot this for hours and hours and hours, for days and days and days, yeah. where she's carrying him and carrying him and carrying him. So badass. When didn't say a word, all fine. Yeah. The movie's done. She has to have back surgery. What? I did. Yes. Yeah, I did. That loves who? Me. That loves who? Me. Me. Hollywood newcomers Noah Cottrell and McKenna Roberts are cast as the couple's twins. Where do you go as a child in that place where it's like you're running for your life and you don't know if your daddy is going to be able to save you? We are filming all those scenes and a lot of them I was crying. So like getting to that emotion and like also like thinking that my dad's not going to be there but not losing hope that he's not. So it was just unbelievable. That father-daughter magic is something that Johnson doesn't have to reach for. You hit so many emotional heartstrings. I have three daughters, so the idea that we're in that kind of danger and I can't save her uh, was just heartbreaking. The movie set in Hong Kong and Universal Pictures brought us there for a whirlwind tour with the cast, starting at this world-renowned dumpling shop. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Soft, yes. That's like my personality. This food is going to taste just like Dwayne Johnson. Delicious. We're delicious. Tasty. Over our meal, Johnson shares that the movie is as much about being on the edge of your seat as it is about family. I felt like Skyscraper was special because it's rooted in husband and a wife, a father and a mother doing everything that they can to protect their little kids and to keep our family together. And so the family element was our anchor. Johnson's a hands-on father to three daughters, often celebrating the women in his life on Instagram. The relationship that I have with my daughters is really the most important thing that I have in my life. When I have my daughters is when I realize what love meant, and not only what love meant, but also what unconditional love is, and a true, authentic, unselfish love. His youngest, Tiana, was born at the end of April. We found out that we were having baby Tia uh, while I was shooting right at the beginning of the movie. So when I'm in these scenes with little Noah and McKenna and I'm saying, Daddy loves who? Daddy loves who? Like, I felt that. And, I, and I, I'm a lucky man uh, because I live it every day. Campbell agrees that love is the secret to their on-screen chemistry. What do you attribute you. to that movie magic that you guys created? We are both parents, and yeah. we both love our children. Um, but I think for, for any parent, if you think of your children being in danger, you know, you get that mama bear, papa bear thing coming on. Campbell's family is also growing. With a six-year-old son, she and her partner, J.J. Fields, just adopted a baby boy, which they proudly announced on Instagram. It's beautiful. All of the That's emotions of, yeah. of being a mommy again. Yeah. You already had your son, Caspian. Yeah, and he's elated to be a big brother. It's <laughs> just the most beautiful thing. <laughs> From the Peninsula Hotel landing pad, we hop into a helicopter. It's crazy. Who would have thought? Did you ever tell yourself in your lifetime 
I will be flying in a helicopter above Hong Kong at some point in my life. Should I ever I get think? paid to do it? I would get paid to do it <laughs> and be sitting next to Nev Campbell. Uh, I never thought. Uh, I wouldn't incredible. mind sitting next to Nev Campbell. If you want to change seats, I would be more than happy to. Oh, stay where you are, please. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I could pilot this. Back safely on the ground, I head out to sea with McKenna and Noah. Both celebrated their 10th birthdays during filming. This big movie with such big stars. Yeah, yeah every day. Every day while we're like, down here. Why am I like, here? Like, is, is this, this a dream? dream? <laughs> the duo made their red carpet debut at the New York premiere of Skyscraper earlier this week where all eyes are on box office titan Johnson, flashing that megawatt smile with a career that keeps cooking. Never underestimate The Rock. For Nightline, I'm Adrian Bankert in Hong Kong. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.